Speaking of fights, lawsuits in general, uh, we had Assembly Bill 1327 uh, come out last year. It's a lawsuit that we've already filed on. If you haven't seen one of our latest videos uh, with Chuck, we, we did a little segment on this. Uh, basically, that creates uh, it, it creates an impossible scenario where any organization uh, can be a prevailing party when suing the state. Chuck, what update do we have on that? Uh, you know, last I read, it got put in front of Benitez. Do we have any kind of timeline uh, that we can expect on this lawsuit? Uh, tentatively, there is a hearing date on November 14th. Uh, so let's make sure folks understand what this is. The, 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 Gavin Newsom uh, didn't like what happened with the abortion laws in Texas. In Texas, they had a law that said if you challenge a a ban on abortions. If you challenge people's right, the woman's right to get an abortion, uh, and and try and strike down Texas laws that prohibited abortions, then uh, you would not be deemed a prevailing party if you won, and therefore, if you're not a prevailing party, you're not entitled to recover your attorney's fees. And not only that, if you didn't win on every theory that you had, so if you bring five causes of action with five theories and you only win on one, you're not you're deemed to be the non-prevailing party and you could be on the hook for the state's attorney's fees, reimbursing them. So all due respect to my brothers and sisters in arms in Texas, that's not a good way to do things, to, to chill a constitutional challenge. But Newsom took that, struck out the word abortion, put in the word firearms and put this, this hurdle in the way of, of CRPA and other civil rights activists and their lawyers so that you couldn't file a lawsuit without running the risk of having to be on the hook for the state's attorney's fees and never really, as a practical matter, being able to recover attorney's fees yourself, which is the way it has always been in the past. So that's an obstacle to us getting on the field. Folks need to realize this is not this doesn't advance Second Amendment rights. It just gets us back into court so we can advance Second Amendment rights. Now we have to get over this uh, this this prevailing party theory, this attorney's fees shifting law so that we can recover our fees if we win and not have to pay the state's fees. Uh, and we are in front of Judge Benitez again. Uh, and in fact, there are two lawsuits down there uh, uh, challenging 1320, challenging that prevailing party portion of 1327. And right now there's a hearing date set for November 14th. We'll see if Judge uh, Benitez changes that or sticks with that date, um, but we're very hopeful. By the way, the state has been, in most cases, the state has, been, they know that this is, they're on shaky ground with this. They argued, the state of California argued that the Texas law was unconstitutional. So now they're having to step in and argue that the state law is, is constitutional. Uh, you know, they're speaking out of both sides of their face and they're call and we're calling them on it. Well, yeah, not, I mean, not only that, you know, when I, when I was growing up and I did something that my brother didn't like, and he in turn, uh, turned around and did it back to me. I, you know, my parents always taught me the definition for that is spite. Uh, this is spiteful legislation. Uh, and you know, it, it's, it's definitely on shaky ground, but even in the legislation, they wrote that if the Texas law was repealed, that this law would be repealed too. Uh, you know, what does that actually say about our legislators? You know, they're obviously not looking out for the best interest of Californians. They saw something that they didn't like, so they did it to us. Uh, that's and, and that's just incredibly immoral uh, as the way that I see it. Yeah. And the big thing was uh, Newsom claimed that the Supreme Court had upheld that prevailing party fee shifting provision when, in fact, they did nothing of the kind. All that happened was the abortion the folks who wanted to challenge the abortion bans in Texas asked the Ninth Circuit to do, or the, the Texas Circuit Court to do an injunction to stop that law, an emergency injunction. When the Circuit Court down there didn't do it, they asked the Supreme Court to do it. That emergency injunction process from trial court to the Court of Appeals to the Supreme Court, they're almost never granted. It doesn't matter how strong your case is. All the Supreme Court did was remand it back down to to litigate it first before it came back up to the Supreme Court on some kind of an appeal. Uh, so they never said it was constitutional. They just didn't say it, it was unconstitutional because they said we're not going to rule at all. But, but Newsom spun that as if it was perfectly okay for the California legislature 
to do the same thing that the Texas with firearms to do the same thing the Texas legislature did with abortion and it it, it doesn't fly and so we got to get that out of the way and that should be out of the way fairly soon and then we can get back to fighting the the cases the second amendment cases that really make a difference We'll definitely keep an eye out. We're going to be updating on these things on the CRPA website. Check the links below uh, so that you can follow along with this stuff. And yeah, I mean, that's a big one. You know, Gavin Newsom said a long time ago he wanted to end the firearms culture in California. Uh, And with, with this prevailing party nonsense, it's a great way to deter people from bringing forward lawsuits or just bankrupting them in general. Uh, So definitely a fight to have, and we're going to follow along with it. Chuck, thank you very much for coming on. We appreciate you being here. Always a pleasure. And for all of you at home, guys, the CRPA channel is growing, and this is great news. But still, 64% of the people watching these videos are not subscribed. If that happens to be you, go ahead, click the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button. We're getting the message out. We want to get it out even more. So thank you for all your help with the growth. Let's keep on pushing forward. We'll see you guys for another one soon.